The Space and Missile Systems Center, Los Angeles Air Force Base, welcomes a very special guest, the only fighter pilot in history to accomplish the incredible feat of shooting down an orbiting satellite. Retired Major General Doug Pearson. Everything we needed to launch was in the airplane. All we had to do was get to the right place, at the right attitude, and I had to press the little red button. The former top secret U.S. Air Force program was managed by the predecessor organization to SMC's Space Superiority Systems Directorate, a feat remembered at the Directorate's 60th anniversary heritage event. The year was 1985. The objective? Take an Air Force F-15A, dubbed Celestial Eagle, to an altitude of 38,000 feet and launch an ASM-135 ASAT anti-satellite missile. The target? An obsolete 2,000-pound Solwyn P-78-1 solar laboratory launched in 1979. The purpose of the program was to prove an Air Force fighter jet could fire a missile and shoot down an enemy satellite, particularly Soviet reconnaissance satellites. On Friday the 13th, September 1985, then Major Pearson flew his F-15 Eagle to the designated altitude and was given the green light for the test. Major Pearson executed a 3.8 G zoom climb at a near vertical angle of 65 degrees. The ASM-135 ASAT launched at 38,100 feet while the F-15 was flying at Mach 0.934, just below the speed of sound. The 30-pound anti-satellite missile slammed into the 2,000-pound Solwind, blowing the spacecraft to bits. In that moment, Major Pearson became the world's first and only space ace. And I will tell you on show day, the Friday the 13th, 1985, pretty much everything that could go right did go right. 